Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm going to show you 10 new items that we recently found that are great to resell. If you're a beginner, if you're just learning, or you just want to know what items to resell, we do this monthly, so this is always a great thing to keep watching. You stay with us. So this month I have been all over. I have been at garage sales and I have been at estate sales and I have been at thrift stores. And this is one of the first things that I wanted to show you. These are Keen hiking boots. I got these for $10. Now they said they were new and unused, but they do not have the tags. So I'm gonna mark them as used, but I'm gonna tell them that they were probably just worn around the house because they said they were new. Uh, so I, for $10, it was a great purchase. I'm going to ask around $50 to $60, see what I could get. If they were really brand new, they would be at least $100. But I'm going to go with the $60 and see what I get. Right here, this is a Mad Hatter mug. Now, you know, I found this in a thrift store. I found it for like $1, $1.99. You always got to look at mugs, and especially if they're Disney. A Disney mug can sell well. So always check them out, look them up. This one's only selling for about $20 in shipping, but for $1.99, hey, it's it's a profit. So I, I did grab it, and I, I love this myself, and if I didn't sell it, I would keep it, but I really have a lot of mugs, so I'll try to sell it. Now, these were $0.50 cents each. They're Coca-Cola Christmas ornaments. I used to be a huge Coca-Cola fan and had tons of these. These said they were new, but they might have been opened up. The packages have a little damage. I'm going to put them as used. I'm going to actually put them in auction for $9.99 an auction and see what happens because, you know, they could go very high. They can go up to 30 Sometimes they're worth 10 bucks a piece. If, and if all I get is $9.99, which I think I'll get more, still, I paid $0.50 cents each. This is a hat. Now, I might have shown you this hat before. I've just put it up, though. And uh, it says Union Made, so I know it's a nice vintage hat. I think it's kind of cool and would be great for the holiday season or maybe uh, something to keep you warm. Uh, I don't know. I've never done something like this. So this is something new. We're going to have to wait and see how this goes. But I always seem to do well when I find some really interesting vintage hats. So I always pick them up. I mean, maybe people use them for a show. I don't know. But I'm going to see them. I'm list it for like $25. This I bought for $5 at a garage sale. And I'm putting this up on Facebook Marketplace. I don't often show you the things I do on Facebook Marketplace. I show you more eBay. But this is a Facebook Marketplace. I just thought it was so shabby chic so cute and different i i picked it up and you know i may end up bringing this to a flea market if i don't sell it on uh facebook marketplace i'm probably asking too much because i'm asking 35 but you know it's unique it's different i'm gonna see what happens i'm gonna let you know now this i found and i found this at a garage sale and believe it or not it was one dollar it's a henry bendel bag and i looked them up and some sell for a lot now this one right here i looked up there's several up and i believe it only sells for about fifty dollars but some of these can sell for up to three hundred dollars i found a cosmetic bag one time with this name and i bought it at a, a thrift store for like three dollars and i sold it for 35 on the second day that it was up so i'm hoping that this one has as much luck as that one i'm gonna ask like 50 to 60 see what happens now these i love these and i find these all over the place but i found this one at a thrift store and i geez it was like five dollars four dollars I found they had like four or five of these. I love when I get to list something and I have several of them. This way I don't have to keep relisting stuff. These do not sell quickly, I'll tell you that. Uh, and you got to have the right price. It was saying like $20 free shipping. I may go to $18 free shipping just because I want to see them move along. But they're very cute and I'm keeping one for myself. Now this one, I always tell you the background to be clean and this one's not. And it's because I had to plug it in. I did plug it in and I made a video to show online with this as well uh, but it's a thomas kincaid ornament that uh, the the train spins around and it's very very cute um normally don't put anything in the background if you can avoid it but uh, i found this and it was uh, five dollars i believe and i think they sell for about 40 
something in that range, 35, 40, 50. I don't know exactly. I'm going to relook it up, but that's what I found. And I found a whole ton of these Anna Lee dolls at the Salvation Army thrift store. And they were pretty rarely cheap. This one was $4.99 because he was big, but most of them were like a dollar and a dollar ninety nine. And I think I might have shown you some others, but I just got to this guy, so I loved him and I had to show you some of these Anna Lee. Always look for Anna Lee dolls because they can sell very, very well. And I've sold many, many in the past. And since this is a Christmas one, I thought what better time to sell these now, i also found this at a thrift store for a dollar 99 and at first i thought you know eh, it's just some mickey ears although i love and sell a lot of disney but it lights up and when i first looked it up it was saying they were worth like 50 dollars. well this one is used so he's probably only worth about 20 or 25 but sometimes disney mickey ears are worth a lot so always keep your eyes open for them there's tons and tons of collectors for these types of things and you you can tell i sell a lot of disney items i live in florida i can find them so those are the 10 things that i am relisting this month now go out there you go shopping you find something good you find some disney you put it up on ebay and you go make yourself some money